Well, here we are today at the fabulous Southfield, and I'm going to show you from the other end where the uh, what we do. We, we park just through there, and uh, when you're up near the yacht club, that's the yacht club. Ben running off there. Look, that's the yacht club, and we we walk up here, and uh, you've got the mighty res or two reses there. And if you could sit right at the yacht club, we don't fish this bank. We have done it past. We've had a couple of matches on here. Uh, when, uh, but we, we haven't been on the, this bank for a long, long time. I mean, there's a lovely car parking spot there, but we're not allowed to use it, which is a shame because we could all park there, and uh, it's what it is anyway. We can't. So, uh, so when you come on, you can see now that this end peg is 70, and peg 11 is right there. That's peg 11, and then the woods on the side. Are weak. You can see that the. the pathway down the middle well it should be a pathway and then the other side of that is, is the what we call the west lake we want to turn in so this is the fourth round of the new fish feeder king and uh, I, that which tells you aren't qualified yet some big names have already so the the, the finalist is already is fantastic and uh, so where have I drawn well I haven't been for a month and a month ago you wanted to be this MPEG he had a great chance and uh, I've drawn it but they've not been catching but I'm not grumbling even if I don't get a bite I'm not going to grumble because you can never grumble at an MPEG um, I know last week in festival and other matches there's been nothing up this end or fish have been further up um, so but I'm not grumbling I can't, you can never grumble I've never drawn it before I've never drawn this end peg along this bank so so I'm next to Mr. Bartley Angley Centre himself, Tony Peel, uh, old teammate of mine, friend, so we'll be having a good night to talk about everything, probably Dennis will be number one subject. And uh, so, and this is it, this is what you get. So I've got a lot of room, wind's off his back, which means it's an easterly wind, so, uh, and that's probably, hopefully, I, I think we need it to fish really, really hard down this end today. I think we want 15 pound to win it and then we might have a chance so it's straightforward um you can see mr hope's brought me a nice bun look at that look at that bun hey a horn first time a man's given me a horn look at that hey unbelievable that so natural baits pinkies casters worms everything like that i've got three rods set up with a big feeding rod and I've got two of the rod 11 foot all round and uh, an horizon 10 foot. Um, so one's on braid on the 10 foot because it's my short line. I've not put any braid on that. I just fish nylon when I fish short. Um, so you might say, oh, why are you fishing to your left? You always fish to your right. Well, the simple reason, it's simple. I can't see anybody that way, there's no anglers. So what's pointing, pointing my rod that way? I can't see anything. So if I point it that way, I can see the anglers that's mr peel look and why do i want to see the anglers well on here it's really important the lines that you're fishing and today i'm going to fish two i'm going to start anyway 1633 and uh, because the fish were short i came up the other day with my good friend gareth dawson and we fished up there where the, you can just see the trees where there's where the bands and that's down you can just see up there it's one of my favorite areas there you see and he had 50 pound and I had 20, so I'm using his ground bait today. Uh, so it's his fault if I don't win, because he caught great big ones. Honestly, he had, I don't know, I don't know, 10 or 12, four pounders. It were, it, it were ridiculous how many were catching, and I couldn't catch him. Changed to his ground bait and caught some. So if, if I don't qualify today, I'm going to blame him. So how we got to qualify? Well, there's 60 pegs. There's three zones of 20. You have to win your zone of 20. And you qualify for the 10 grand final in uh, later on in the year, I think October. So, but first, but getting through is difficult because there's some good anglers. There's a lot of good anglers. Um, so, like I said, two lines, 1633. But because the wind's off my back, the fish might have gone out, so I might have to go longer. But the other day it was like this, and all fish were inside. So I'm just going to gamble on that to start with watch what down there that's why i'm fishing that way to my left so i can see the lines that other people are on because on here you can be five yard off wrong line not get a bite come short five yard and get a fisher chuck 
we had no signs, no indications. It's really, really strange for that. But that's how it works on here. So, we're at Benford Day Outlook. There he goes. He's got his dinner there. Look, if you're interested in what I, what I bring him, look at that. A bit of, what's he got there? A bit of ham, a bit of lamb, some biscuits, some water. Uh, if you get, he eats better than me, to be honest with you. And everything else. Got me worms, everything like that. I'm all ready now. So, uh, wish me luck. I'll let you know how we get on. Well, that's the end of uh, the fourth, and I've got about £22, I reckon. I've caught on short line of 16 metres, just, just sort of there. Caught no for a couple of hours out at 30 metres. I, well, I did have 10 small fish for probably £3. And then I've come there, didn't get one. Rested it, went back, and I got one £2. We're about two and a half hours to go. And I think I've had... Um, I've had eight, nine fish there. One a pound and all was over between two and three pound. So I think I've 22 pound and it's going to be close because they've all caught up there in its 60s. Whether they've got 22 pound or not, they're all mixed fish when you can see different people catching. But I've got, I think I've 22 pound ish. I must have a chance with that. If I ain't, I'm, I'm only going to be a fish short, I think. Uh, I think I've had 10 skimmers, I've had one a pound and I've had uh, five bream of like three pounders. And, uh, and three two pounders. Just fished double worm and just sat there. Not many indications. Tony at Court Shot Lambs had lower indications, so I'll have to wait and see. But uh, quite uh, nerve wracking now, actually waiting for the weigh in because I reckon I've got half a chance. So let's see, keep your fingers crossed. Fishing is just cruel sometimes. Oh, God, I can't believe it. I've weighed in £22.14. I thought I'd £22. I actually thought I'd a bit more. And £23, something's qualified and won the match. And I'm second in the match. But second in the zone, so I've not qualified, but I'm second in the match. So I'm absolutely gutted. Um. So, crikey. Oh, it's what it is. Just disappointing, really. Um, at the end of the day, like I've had, uh, I ain't fished a bad match. I don't think I, I've missed one bite. Um, I, I ain't lost a sorry. I, I lost a little fish, but it wouldn't have been big enough. Ah, <sighs> twenty two fourteen. I think twenty three tens won't match, and and my zone and qualified. But fair play, it it it's done well from there, and I, so I've had a chance. I can't grumble. I, I, I didn't fancy it at start. Apart from it's an MPEG, because I know they've not been catching. And uh, and I fished only two lines, 33 metres and like 16. I know a lot of fish have been on um, pole line. And what, what was short line, we call it pole line. And uh, I caught, I had like 10 small fish skimmers, and it was probably three, three and a half pound. And I thought, this is no good, they've got to call me short line. I knew they've got to call me short line. And uh, and I've caught I think four or five bream, a couple of two pounders, a big skimmer, uh, in the last two and a bit hours. Um, so, uh, but I could see the little group of anglers, three of them all catching in sixties, middle sixties. But and I couldn't work out who got most, but apparently it was sixty five. And anyways, beat me. So that's the way it goes, isn't it? So a bit gutted, a bit disappointed because uh, we don't go to to actually. Come second, third, fourth, we've got to qualify on this, you know, so uh, it, it, that's what it's all about. So I've got to try and get a ticket for the next one. I don't think I've got one for the next one, so I'll just have to have a look. Uh, there's still six to go, so there's still plenty of time, but that were a chance today. I mean, I've, I've lost with like 12 ounce, but I mean, I've had a three and a half pounder and, you know, I've netted it, lifted it on the shouted time, so it could have been a bit more than that. So um, it's disappointing. Good match. Plea for Parco. Uh, he, he, Rachel for Parco, he's qualified. Um, uh, I can't remember the lad's name who's, who's beat me today, and uh, uh, I think uh, I think what well, they call it's qualified um, as well. So um, I'm peg eleven. So fair pl fair play to him anyway. I'm useless with names, as everybody knows. Um, so anyway, so I'll have to, two weeks. I think it's trying to get a ticket for the next one if I ain't got one. Um, but it were other day 
when we practice everything we're on double maggot we couldn't catch out on worms and and i couldn't i've only had one fish on double maggot today i've caught them all on worms whether that's because i'm mpeg or not but it was quite weird like when i spoke to tony after we next peg to me on a, his short line he was lying at all time and we couldn't catch him and then last off he's had two and I didn't get no line. It's just an odd little pluck, an odd little indication to let me know there are an odd fish there. And then it's just gone. Um, so, but, so I've had a chance. I can't grumble. Um, and it's what it is. But, I mean, there's, load, there's, uh, there's, there's loads of... Uh, Steve Whitfield on Peg 11. Uh, he'll have his arm, he'll have his arm in air. We're showing him what he does. So, fair play to him. He, uh, so anyway, but not, I'm right chuffed for Parko, really am. I'm, I'm going to send him a message in a minute. Um, so that'll shut him all up. <laughs> uh, but thanks to Mick and Andy and Parko again for running match, t- top match as always, well organised. And uh, we're trying to get a ticket for the fifth one now, so uh, that's how it goes. So a bit disappointed, poor old Ben. Uh, he's going to get it tonight, but it's what it is. Have a great night. <laughs>